So, gonna keep on the weird DC news, and this dropped before the Batgirl thing, but I don't think it's nearly as complicated as the Batgirl thing, and that is that Batfleck is coming back for Aquaman 2. Now, a lot of people are scratching their heads about this, and I actually don't think it's nearly as complicated as people are making it out to be, but it's interesting nonetheless. So, supposedly... And I think this all but confirms it. Supposedly, Michael Keaton's Batman showed up as a quick cameo at the end of Aquaman 2. But that was back when Aquaman 2 was the final film on the current DC docket mm -hmm. after The Flash. Now, due to some scheduling reshuffling and also, you know, just horrible behavior by one scumbag human being that has led Warner Brothers to try and completely ignore The Flash. Um, now Aquaman 2 is coming out before The Flash. So I think this is not complicated at all. I think this is just... It would not make sense timeline-wise at all why Michael Keaton's mm -hmm. Batman would show up to Jason Momoa's Aquaman and be like, Hey, bro, we need help. You want to get nuts? Let's get sea nuts. Hmm. Yeah, okay, sure. Sea nuts is a thing. Yeah, uh-huh. Sure. Put that uh -huh. on a t-shirt and wear it. Uh, but I'm losing my train of thought. Today, buddy. I'm losing Killing my train of thought real quick with sea nuts. But Josh, while I mentally recover from that image, I so here's the thing: is I can totally see that that's the re that's the only reason they're bringing him back. I can totally see just to replace that uh, that cameo. Um, what could have been interesting is. When they reduced a certain person's role, uh, because uh, um, Ben Amber Affleck Heard is playing had, Mara. Uh, what if? But what if Batman is there instead of Mara? A Batman Aquaman adventure sounds super cool to me. Not, no, I'm not saying. No, 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 no. I see your <laughs> that, face. That is some I'm Tumblr not stuff right there. That, 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 I mean, let the bromance continue, I guess. But like, still, like, what I'm not saying give Batman that be? Bat just Batman. <laughs> Aquabat, <laughs> Aquabat. Uh, actually, they're they're the the Aquabats. There's a fantastic punk band. Why does uh, the, why does the Aquabat sound like a rescue hero vehicle? I'm gonna take the Aquabat to save the citizens. I would buy the heck out of that toy. Only because it's uh, the the rescue heroes. Yeah, and um, Rip Curl but, has to pilot it because he's the surfer bro. <laughs> bringing out the rescue heroes knowledge this week. We're gonna have to like one day like pitch a rescue heroes movie just because like just Do for the case of it. Do not tempt me with a good time. And, and like, like, dude, I'm serious because like that could because we did that with a Fantastic Four film. Of being, like, a a pitch rescue off. heroes movie. Get Tom Selleck as Billy Blazes. The Rock is Rocky Canyon. Yeah, no. Jessica Chastain is <laughs> Wendy Waters. I could do this all day, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, we we haven't done a pitch off in a while, and it could be fun to do a rescue heroes one. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, with that being said, um, regardless of of the scale of his role of getting coming back, it like you said, like it, because of the schedule reshuffle, it just makes more sense for Batman Batfleck to be there. Um, it, it would be even more confusing if. If Battenson showed up, um, that would be super weird. George super Clooney's confusing. Batman shows up. Yeah, so we'll we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I think at this point, I'm just ready for this movie to come out. Um, I think we really haven't gotten like a full length trailer yet for it, ha right? Like we've yeah, got a little teaser. Off. Yeah, but still, I mean, I would, yeah, it's whatever. It is a thing that that's happening, and um. Uh, DC is a mess right now, unfortunately, and uh, this is just adding to it, I guess. It also kind of makes me think, if you're going through all this trouble of bringing back Ben Affleck for a supposed cameo, maybe it's more than just a cameo, because if it was just something that would be like, hey man, I'm about to step into the multiverse, you want to come along, Morty? Um, <laughs> I think... <laughs> They wouldn't have gone through the trouble of getting Ben Affleck. I think this is a more substantial thing. Like if it was just a cameo to tease something down the road for like the very next movie, mm -hmm. that potentially probably could have just been cut. Like post credit scenes very rarely are shot super late and don't overall contribute. They're just 
post credit scenes are literally the clickbait of movies. Like, mm -hmm. at least they are now. They didn't, yeah. Stick around. You might find out something cool about the next one. And we all still sit around like the trained monkeys that we are. Uh, so maybe this role is more significant. Uh, mm -hmm. I just, I think this is an interesting direction. But again, DC's in a really weird state right now. I think the best way to describe DC is every year at Christmas, you got that big ball of Christmas lights, like Christmas vacation. <laughs> David Zaslav's going, you done goofed. All right, we're going to make a mess, but we're going to untangle this somehow. At least that's, that's what I'm hoping for, because I choose to be an optimist, but I'm... This is confusing me a great deal. I agree. Uh, the the thing I, I the only hope that I have outside of the top topic we're going to talk about here next here in a second um, is if they went with the Justice League Unlimited approach and did a giant event movie with everybody and everybody's just there and you're just and like no oh, explanation. Okay, cool. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and just start it with a Martian Manhunter invasion and then just t dovetail it from there. The team is led by Metamorpho. Ooh. 